Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Steve. Welcome back to a brand new video. So, now, um, today, I have to work really early. Um, and, um, I kid you not, it is 6.20 a.m. right now. What time? If you could see that down there, it is 6.20 a.m. Um, but I had to wake up a little bit earlier, um, because I have work, um, and then, um, I am going to be filming videos for the Bounty Hunting channel, so if you want to see that, uh, make sure, it'll say Eagle Bail Mods in the description, make sure you just go check that out, um, but yeah, so, um, we're going to be back in the, um, homeowners, homeowner series, and, um, yeah, so let's just get started, it, as you guys saw in the last video, I was like, small little, um, farmhouse, and then it's, everything is all fenced off up here and everything. Um, if you hear something, like, slim, like that, if you hear something slamming, it's my bird messing with this fake bird that I have in the cage, and it's really annoying. So, uh, yeah. But that's what that is. Um, but yeah. Um, here you have my tiny little house. It's actually two stories, and I don't know if I ever show- I don't know if I ever showed you guys the, um, inside of this house. So, um, stairs, um, dining room, fruit basket, TV. TV don't work, but that's fine. Um, fridge. This is a tiny little fridge, but once again, it's just me, so I don't really need anything. Um, uh, garage. You saw the- you guys saw the garage. I got a, um... I got a new motorcycle, and it's actually a police motorcycle, um, but if you guys take a listen here, when you, um, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that, but it has a police siren on a civilian vehicle, so that's always fun to use. Um, yeah, right, here's the upstairs, um, little, like, sitting area window, um, little gaming room, thought that was pretty cool, it's, it's his games over here on the wall, I really thought that was cool, get a whole bunch of soundproofing in here too, so, that's always nice, um, and then over here, if it will open, is my bedroom, so, what made me mad in the last video is that when I was at my dealership, it wasn't letting me um, open any of the shed doors, so we're gonna try and get that um, all fixed today. But uh, let's go over here, and so this is some of the stuff that I have in here. This is my daily driver. This is a Ford F450 Lariat. I'm sorry, not Lariat, Limited. Um, 6.7 liter Power Stroke Turbo Diesel for for uh, F5 4 off-road pack. Um, it's got lights everywhere. It's got a nice drop hitch. I showed you guys this in the last video. But yeah. I always gotta show it off. Definitely a nice truck. Gotta get it clean though. It's a little dirty. Um, here we have a 35 foot enclosed trailer. Once again, very nice trailer. Um, pretty big inside. Um, and then here we have a 24 foot PJ trailer. Um, in the other video, I had a one that's at the shop right now that is a 40 foot. Um, so here we are. Here's the shop. Um, if you guys want to see the tour, um, I took you guys through um, this whole process. I took you guys through. I showed you guys all of the um, tractors and stuff. Um, here is. Um, the, uh, truck, it's a Toyota, uh, Helix, Hilux, I don't know really, I have no idea how you say it, but, yeah. Say it's invincible, highly doubt that. I mean, Toyotas, they're not made out of fiberglass, so, I don't know. Um, I recently got re-rendered in a Burger King parking lot, but I'm fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Um, it was nothing, it was a little, like, two mile an hour bump, so, yeah. Um, over here, we have a... I don't even, I'm not even going to attempt to say it, a fleet, no, I'm not even going to try, um, nice trailer, this is, um, if it, if I have, like, one delivery to, um, make 
I'll put the tractor up here and I'll try and tow it with this thing. Which this thing actually has pretty good towing capacity to do it though, so um that'll be very nice. Um got four parking spots over here. Um thought this is just gonna be pretty nice. I don't know. Just wanted to add something cool. So I'm happy I did. Um but yeah. Um so you guys will actually be able to see inside the garages today. Um, it's really nothing special. Uh, this is the, uh, Peterbilt. I think I took you guys on tour of this, um, before. Um, this is the uh, PJ trailer. And this is where I store all the overflow from this main, um, thing here. This is where it stores all of the, um, other tractors that because what I do is I have all the tractors in the showroom that's over there and then over um, here I have just more tractors I'm gonna try and fill this up see realistically I can't open this door well this garage door um, because when you open it it clips through here so I'm gonna fix that fence from it a little bit um, the uh, I this is the tractor I never got to show you guys this is the John Deere 9RX. Um, kind of like John Deere 9R. Um, but nice, cool interior. Um, like, nope, sorry, wrong tractor. Okay. Nice, cool interior. Kind of modern. Um, as you can see, the whole body turns. And it's got um, four tracks on it, which I thought was pretty, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, here are a couple other tractors. This is a 6M right here. Very tiny little tractor, nothing special about it. Um, this is a, um, 7810, 7, Um, yeah. it's an older tractor, but definitely nice. Another older tractor, a 4755. Um, once again, another great tractor. And then here, we have... <laughs> Then we have a 6R, um, once again, but really special. Um, yeah, I mean, they're tractors, they're cool tractors. Um, yeah. So in today's video, I'm kind of just going to be, um, fixing up the dealership. So, um, yeah, let's fix up this dealership. So, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, this is a storage unit for when we get in um custom orders from customers um so what they'll do is they'll either order online or they'll come into the shop they'll look at the tractors and then i'll show them it online and then they'll customize it from there and then it'll get ordered and then they'll tell me that the order is ready i'll go i'll pick it up drop it off here um do any final inspections and the customer can either choose to have it delivered or if they want to pick it up. Um, so far, I've only done one delivery, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure... I want to say it was for a 6M, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, they had it all spiked down and everything. And then I added this little fenced-off piece over here. Um, but yeah. So, like I said, we're going to be doing um, some stuff here. So, let's head to construction. And first, I want to get rid of this over here. No, I don't. I do not want to. Alright. So, we're gonna go. And I gotta find the right fence. That's what I gotta do. Okay. Um. I want to put it just like that, um, just because it goes up and kind of just blocks it off. So now I should be able to open um, that big hydraulic door back here. Once again, it is 6:20 in the morning, so that's why I'm talking pretty quiet. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be able to open that big hydraulic door now. And I love how it custom fits over here. Um, but I'm not gonna add any fences back here. It doesn't really need it. Um, I didn't really need it at my house, but I still did it anyways, but yeah. 
Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool little thing. It's a, a three garage door shed, even though it is pretty, pretty big inside. Um, I could definitely fit more than three tractors in here. I could probably fit like six, maybe even nine. It's a lot of tractors. Um, we have, um, we haven't gotten an order in a while, so yeah. Um, so I don't really want to upgrade, um, this shed yet. Doesn't really need to be upgraded yet, so we're not going to do it. Um, so here we have a whole bunch of, these are sheds and these are barns, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are definitely barns. All right. I, you know what was really stupid, guys? I had to purchase the whole outside land. Like, if you look at the um, land that I own, I had to purchase all of this outside land over here. My field six, that's where the um, thing is. Um, I had to purchase all this outside land just for me to be able to, um, like, to take the um, road and put it, well, take the entrance and put it into the road. Um... But yeah, now I have a baseball field, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, so, if you guys want to know what map it says, this is Westbridge Hills. Um, yeah. I use a couple mods. Um, yeah, there are a couple, a couple cool mods. Um, just like these signs right here. They look like they were a lot bigger. Um, so I kind of got ripped off. Um... Alright, I gotta fix that. I didn't know that was that. Okay. So we're gonna flip those signs around. Um, I gotta go look around, see if any of my signs are messed up. That one's messed up. Gotta fix that one. I have a whole bunch of signs over here. That one's done. That one's messed up. Uh-oh. I think that's it. Oh, wait, I have more. Okay, so all my signs are messed up, so we're going to be um, fixing my signs. Gotta find them though. Okay, they're right here, so. Let's just get out of here. Uh, ah, so let's delete and sell all these um, signs because they're honestly all backwards. <sighs> just when you think you're doing good, someone's gonna come and mess it up. No. So this pack actually comes with a whole bunch of signs. Um, I, I don't know how to say it. I can't read that one. Can't read that one. Case IH, Challenger, Fendant, can't read it. JCB, John Deere, Lizard, Massey Ferguson. Um, I forgot. Oh, New Holland, right? I think so. Um, Pioneer and Wilson Trailers, I think. Um, I don't know if we're going to be selling any trailers, but we'll definitely, um, probably will be selling some Matthew Ferguson's and some Fendant's, um, as well, with some Case IHs and New Hollands. Um, yeah, as of right now, is um, John Deere. So, let's get these signs back up. So, that one's good. And that one's good. And... We needed another one there, and uh, another one on the corner, because, you know, we need to be extra, because why not? Um, put another one here, just because, and then right by the entrance, well, this is just by over here, it's not an entrance, I forgot, it's not, um, yeah. That's it, and I'll put one right there, just for you guys, just to be extra, because you know me. Well, if you know me in real life, I am very, very extra with everything I do. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, I don't have to be filming on this tripod, though. Um, so, hopefully soon I get a, um, a mic, so I can do everything through OBS, because I have it installed. Um, if you guys saw in one of my other videos, the video, the, ah! video um that was um when i used obs and have a mic 
that's when um in Springbrook when when it was still a volunteer fire department, um, when one of the guys in Delton kinda was messing with me and everything and he didn't revive me. Well, try to at least he got on the scene, called me DOA and then left, so yeah. We're not getting into that though. Um we might do some spring book shifts, I'm not sure, but might do some. Uh yeah. That's really um it for everything. Um I haven't really bought anything yet. Um but I'm thinking once we sell out of all of the um John Deere's, I'm either going to choose Fendant or New Holland, well, Case IH, one of the three, and I'm going to put them here, and then once that one goes out, I'm going to pack up all my stuff, sell this, sell the house, and move. So, that's what the future looks like, um, just saying. Um, when I actually just saw that somebody ordered a base model, um, I keep forgetting where the gate is, um, from the storage unit, so we're gonna go and pick one of those up, um, as of right now, I don't have an overflow unit, so we're not going to be using the overflow, because once we sell out of all the tractors, um, the showroom tractors are gonna get moved into, um, yeah, showroom tractors are going to get moved out to um, the overflow bins. That's what I'm going to use them for. And then I'm going to go and I don't know if I'm going to bring the tractors with me when I move or just sell the tractors. I'm going to sell them though because it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a big oversized load. But yeah. Yes, very much. Um, So we're going to do one delivery and then I'm going to pack it up. So I think it was this one, the 47.55. So I gotta move the 6R. So let's get this out of the way. Beep, beep, beep. It actually doesn't have a backup either. That sucks. All right. And then take out the uh, this one. I forgot to change the um, name, so it's still cast of blazing, but we'll fix that. We'll fix it eventually. I gotta, like, fix that drop because that's really bad. It's a really bad drop. We're gonna load the 4755 up onto the trailer. And then I'm gonna come back here, take the 6M, 6R, sorry, put it back. This is actually a lot bigger than the 6M. Put that back. We're going to shut this. And then we are going to go and um, deliver. Let me, wait, I'm messing up right now. Gotta lock it down with the straps and then I gotta put the uh, gate back up. Yeah, all right, now we can go and um, deliver this tratter. We got to deliver the tratter today. I hate when the gates open towards me, it's really annoying. Um, but this trailer is a wide trailer. Um, I got it specially designed just in case I have tires that come out um, wider. Which actually works really good. So I'm happy about that. Because sometimes I don't pull on straight. But we're going to go and we're going to deliver this. Um, let me just see which field it was. So I think this one, it might have been fields three, I think. So we're going to come up here and then take this around here. I gotta figure out how to get into field three though. Okay. Um, okay. We gotta go by the baseball field or something? Okay, no. We're gonna go through here once we get up here. Okay, that's where the, it was a six time, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Um, Okay, so we're gonna come up through here, come all the way across, and then maybe somewhere over here we'll find an entrance to field three. Um, so let's just see if I can remember what I said and um, actually do that. So I might, I'm probably gonna end up changing out the uh, Toyota Helix 
um, in a, like, I don't know, changing it out so it's not the delivery vehicle. But yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty fast. It can, it can tow it, like, no problem, but. Okay, so we're going to go all the way over. This is my baseball stadium. Pretty cool. And you always got these slow guys that don't know how to drive. So you always got to drive past them. Because it is FS22 after all. You kind of shut traffic off, but it's not that fun. Alright. Just like I said. And if I didn't have those straps on, that thing would have went flying. The tractor would have went flying. Alright. Oh, the field. It's right here. Alright. This is field 3 right over here. So we're going to flip around. I actually worked out. And um, we're gonna drop this off. Then we're gonna head back to the shop. We're gonna close up the shop. We're gonna head back to the house. And then we are going. We're going to uh, end it. Oh my god! I, like I swear I could never be like an actual delivery driver because I would be smashing into all these cars. People would be getting so mad at me, and I just wouldn't care. I'll just drive right back in. <laughs> Alright, but uh, that's it. That's about it right there. So we're gonna unstrap it. Some of those. Then start this tractor out. And lower it down nice and slow. Put it in the parking spot, because why not? Nope, nope. Push through the walls, that's fine. Alright. Let's uh let's get out of here. And, uh, yeah, we'll be on our way. It'll be great when you guys can actually hear the horn. It goes, da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. Yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. This is why you never get in a car, Steven. I mean, just never get into a car with me. You just don't do it. I mean, if you want to put your life at risk, sure, why not? People are annoying, man. I'm being honest. Yeah, I thought these signs were like 20 feet tall. They weren't. So that was um, a ripoff. There's the train. Luckily, I'm not going um, across it. Okay, yeah, like I said, never get into a car with me. You'll literally die. <laughs> I wish I was joking. Actually, no, I'm not, uh, in real life, I'm actually a pretty good driver. Because I move cars around sometimes, so I'm a pretty good driver. Don't worry. Okay, so we're going to pull it up this really steep ramp. That actually worked. Um, then we're going to pull it right there. Close that up. I know it's only, what, 12.20 in the game, but, um, we're gonna close up shop anyways, because I need to get ready for work, so, we're gonna close up, and get out of my way, alright, so, that's gonna do it for today's video, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy, if you did, make sure to smash the like button down below, as well as consider subscribing, and I'm um, gonna catch you guys in the next video, peace out. Stupid thing never works and it always makes me so mad. Peace out, guys.